to be completely honest and say, <laughs> the rise of the Islamic State surprised you. It took you by surprise. It took the administration by surprise. The ability of ISIL to initiate major land offenses, that was not on my intelligence radar. President Obama there reflecting on his legacy as his time winds down. Doug Schoen, former advisor to President Bill Clinton, Monica Crowley, online opinion editor for the Washington Times, and both are Fox News contributors. Good day to both of you. Good just uh, just the last end of that. That was not on my intelligence radar. How did you hear that? Mm -hmm. Well, it directly contradicts what the intelligence community and the military were telling the public as well as the president as early as early 2014. So this did not come as a surprise to President Obama. Remember that he was and is ideologically allergic to any military interventions in the Middle East. Therefore, he did not want to hear what the military and the intelligence communities were telling him about the rise of ISIS. Is he using the intel? community as a, Bill, as rationale. I, I, Doug, I, how do you hear that I, phrase? I heard this, the word that comes to mind is damning on the intelligence community, the president, the national security advisor. Bill, to have our country be at risk in the fundamental way it was and is, and the president say, we missed it, goodness gracious, I mean, this, this scares me. As an American, with all that we spend on intelligence, we missed it. I think also his policies led to it. I think pulling out of Iraq, no status of forces agreement, time limit in Afghanistan, red lines crossed in Syria, all of it contributed. And Petraeus was asked about this, too. He said, you know, we could have left 10,000. I don't know if it would have been successful or not, but I would have liked to have tried it. Um, I, I take you back to, what was it, January 2014 on screen now. The analogy we use around here sometimes, and I think is accurate, is if a JV team puts on the Lakers uniforms, that does not make them Kobe right. Bryant. Right, and what we now know is that the intelligence was being manipulated, possibly on the orders of the White House, in order to try to minimize the threat. Because, again, the intelligence communities and the, the military leadership, they saw this developing. They warned the commander-in-chief that this was happening. To Doug's point, they knew that this was happening. It wasn't that they missed it. It was that the president of the United States did not want to hear it because he didn't want to have to act on it. Bill, I wish I could disagree with that as an American. This isn't a partisan issue. We failed. The new president-elect Donald Trump has got a heck of a job to have to do because we failed as an administration and as a country, not Democrats versus Republicans. Another comment about elections. Northern states, southern states. Watch. Attitudes about my presidency among whites in northern states are very different from whites in southern states. So you know, are, are, are there folks who, whose primary concern about me has been that I seem foreign, the other? Uh, are, are those who champion the birther movement? <laughs> You know, feeding off of uh, bias. Absolutely. Uh, he, he, he was elected. And reelected resoundingly by the American people. The fact that this president is playing the race card in the final days of his presidency, an eight year term, I find particularly appalling. So do I. And I must say, Bill, the fact that he is not speaking about racial unity, didn't achieve racial unity, and didn't appeal to people's best instincts, regardless of race or regional uh, uh, part of the country, that so discourages me. I say that as somebody who believes in civil rights, has worked for civil rights, and to hear a president doing that is very sad. He failed on both these counts. I think you, so. You're both saying Big, that. big failures. Yeah.